Hey guys, welcome back to the Letterhead Studios and more Trails in the Sky. We're on the opposite side of the checkpoint. We're gonna head on to the Ruan region. We're gonna head down the mountain and hopefully not die. I say that a lot, don't I? I, I think my, my end goal most times is to not die, which is good. I just, I don't know, more of those enemies. I don't think they're worth fighting though. Oh no. We're all preparing to use arts. Now hopefully it doesn't hurt Joshua too bad, but I'm pretty certain it's gonna self-destruct. Oh, Joshua's actually out of the line of fire. Sweet. Uh, Estelle might not be so lucky though. Oh no, she's lucky. Two experience. Ugh, maybe the septium is worth it, but not the experience. So we will try our best to avoid most confrontation. Hey Joshua, check it out. It's the ocean. Yes, I think I would have figured that out. It's so blue and sparkly and just huge. And the sound of the waves and the smell of the tide. So this is what it all feels like. Is this the first time you've seen the ocean? Well, I can kind of, sort of, remember seeing it when I was really young. I was on an ocean liner with Dad that one time. That might be the first time I've seen it up close, though. I see. It's been a long while for me as well. We got here by walking, though. No ships this time. Yep, I feel like we've accomplished something. That was cute. Ugh. Some weird lag. What are we, where Where are we heading? East, Ruan, Minoria Village. So I guess this is the way to the village, right? Vereen Lighthouse, okay. We're not heading towards the lighthouse though, are we? We are heading towards uh, Minoria. Minoria? Yeah, we're heading towards Minoria. So this is the way to go. We'll probably back up to the lighthouse though. Civilization at last. And with all these pretty white flowers blooming everywhere too. What did you say this place was called? Minoria. It's a little seaside village with an inn. And the white flowers are a type of hibiscus. They're so pretty. The ocean and the flowers together, it smells great around here. Mm, it also makes me kind of hungry. <laughs> Only you could work up an appetite from smelling flowers. Just make sure you eat the food, not the flowers. Hey, I'm a growing girl. It's almost noon anyway, so what do you say to lunch? Fine by me, but do we have any provisions? Um... Why don't we get something local? It's such a nice, quiet little town. I mean, we just got to Ruan. That's true. Okay, let's go check out the inn and tavern. Aha! The White Magnolia. Welcome to the White Magnolia. I don't recall seeing you before. Are you here on vacation? No, we're just passing through on our way to Ruan. We came from Bose by way of the Crone Pass. You're joking! Wow, I never thought I'd meet another person brave enough to handle that place in this day and age. You're into hiking, I assume? No, not especially. It sure works up an appetite, though. Is there anything you'd particularly recommend? I'd suggest trying the box lunch. What's that? That windmill at the edge of town has a platform with a great view. Every day at lunch, lots of people buy them and take them there to eat. Oh, that must be nice. From what you're saying, it sounds like something I'd like. Well, why don't we try it? What kind of box lunches are there? There's smoked ham, seafood paella. Either would be good in my opinion. I think I'll try the sandwich. Then I'll have the seafood paella. That'll be 120 mira. And I'll toss in some herb tea at no charge. It's my specialty. Thanks. 
Want to go over to the viewing platform? Sure. Hmm. I've already checked here. He's not in the general store either. Damn. Where could he be? Get a move on, Joshua. Whoa, Estelle. Watch where you're going or... Oops. How? Oh, I'm sorry. Are you okay? I wasn't paying attention to where I was going and... Uh, no. No, no. It's, it's all right. Pardon me. I confess. My attention was elsewhere as well. Oh, okay. So I guess we're even. I swear, Estelle. What are you doing? What's wrong? Nothing. I'm sorry if she disturbed you. You're not hurt, I hope. No, I'm fine. I was looking for someone, and I wasn't watching where I was going. Oh, who are you looking for? A little boy, about ten years old, wearing a cap. I don't suppose you've seen him by any chance? A boy in a cap. You see anyone like that, Joshua? Not that I can recall, no. I see. Where could he be? If you'll excuse me, sorry, I have caused you so much trouble. Joshua? Hello? Calling Joshua. Come in, Joshua. Oh, uh, what is it? Gee, I wonder. Oh, I get it. I see what's going on. What half-baked idea are you coming up with this time? Now, now, no need to be shy about it. I see the way she set your heart aflutter. Absolutely not. I just think I've met her before. A long time ago. I was just surprised. Hmm. Met her before, you say? As pickup lines go, I give it 30 points. Moving on. Don't you recognize her uniform? Now that you mention it, isn't that the same outfit that Josette used as a disguise? Yeah, the Yenis Royal Academy uniform. Since we're in Ruan, it's not all that surprising to see someone wearing one. So that's the real thing, then. She seemed polite and smart, and refined. Totally different from that scruffy, crude pretender. What are you talking about? Josette had you completely fooled from the get-go. Oh, that's right. You teased me about it then, too. Well, if you get taken for a fool again, don't expect me to help you. <sighs> Instead of picking on me, why not work on becoming a better judge of character? All right, all right. Fine, I won't pick on you anymore. Good. Now why don't we have a lunch up on the viewing platform? Fine. Wow, check out this view! Yep, you can practically see the entire ocean from here. Getting to eat at a nice place like this really makes it feel like you're living it up, huh? It sure does. So, shall we have ourselves a little picnic then? Sure. I'm starving. Get a load of this smoked ham sandwich! Mmm, it smells so good. I'm looking forward to eating my seafood paella, personally. I love the smell of saffron. Well, let's dig in. Yes. Time for that first bite. Mm, mm, mm. Wow, it's as good as it smells. The lettuce is super fresh and crunchy. The paella is really good, too. Or is it paella? Is it paella? It's paella, isn't it? Oh my gosh, it's probably paella. I just never knew how it was spelled. It's probably paella. <laughs> the paella is really good too. Just the right amount of saffron. I'm so sorry that I mispronounced paella. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> hey, can I have a bite? I've never tried paella before. All right, how about we share? Hmm, but my hands are full. I know, you can feed me. Feed you? Yep, 
Ah. Uh... This is a little embarrassing. Oh, it's fine. It's not like anyone's watching. It's not that being seen that makes it embarrassing. I don't have much of a choice here, do I? Mm, mm, mm. Mm, delicious. That's some pretty fantastic seafood. I don't know what that sweet, peppery smell is, but it really adds something. Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, I'm being selfish, aren't I? Okay, give this a try. Estelle pushed her sandwich into Joshua's mouth a little too enthusiastically. <laughs> That's pretty tasty, but you really didn't have to do that, you know. I know. tea we got with our meals was pretty good. Yeah, it was nice and warming without sitting all heavy. The breeze is so nice. Makes me kind of sleepy. They say you shouldn't sleep right after eating, but maybe a little post-meal nap isn't so bad in moderation. Yeah. Huh? Hey, did you see that bird? It looked like a seagull, except it was huge. Yeah, the wings are a different shape and the beak was sharp. Maybe it was a falcon or an eagle? A white falcon. Didn't know they made them in that color. Hey, I thought you were sleepy. Oh, not anymore, I guess. Maybe we should get going then? Okay, I hate to leave, but I guess we have to. Onward we go. <laughs> There's the boy. Today must be my day for just randomly running into people. Sorry about that. I was just looking for somebody. Say, you're not from around here, are you? Nope. We're from out of town. Hey, aren't you? What? We ran into a girl who said she was looking for a boy who was wearing a cap. You know anything about that? Oh, I'm looking for her, actually. Where'd you see her? Over by the tavern. It was a while ago, though, so I'm not sure where she went. Okay, bye! That kid seems pretty energetic. He reminds me a little of Luke, back in Roland. I wonder what the kids are up to now. What's wrong? It might just be my imagination, but... Have you lost anything? I knew it! What the... where is it? Did I drop it on the mountain pass or something? Calm down. I remember that you had it when you were eating lunch. If you lost it, it has to be somewhere around here. Oh, no way. Yep. I'm thinking the same thing. It was probably that kid. I'll bet it happened when he accidentally ran into you. Why would he want my bracer emblem? What reason does a kid have for wanting anything? He probably just took it because he could. Uh, he is in so much trouble. Now calm down. For now, let's focus on figuring out where he is. He's one of the orphans from Mercia Orphanage. A woman called Maltron Theresa is the administrator. So now we're gonna head from here to an orphanage by way of this area. Oh boy, all right. Nicely done! We're good to go! Looks like it's up ahead. Yeah. What's wrong, Estelle? Okay, that settles it. The situation has nothing to do with it. It's not okay to take things from people. When we find him, we need to punish him. <laughs> Leave it to you to get all worked up over it. But for right now, you need to just settle down, okay? Alright. The village. 
There's that boy with the cap. Ah, what are you doing here? I'm a bracer. Give me a little credit. Wherever a delinquent like you goes, we'll figure it out in no time. Well, you're not catching me. Hey, get back here. <laughs> I'll sue you for child abuse. You're a real brat, you know that? Now give me back my emblem. You got no proof I took it. Well, you're right on that one, but that's nothing a quick search won't fix. Pervert. Abuse. <laughs> <laughs> She's... Wow, that's cool. Get away from the boy. Lay another hand on him and you'll have me to... Huh? Hey, hear that. I remember you from Minoria. Scree? Scree? Help me, Miss Chloe. I didn't do anything and she's being mean to me. Didn't do anything my butt. You stole my emblem. So where's your proof? No tickling this time. Hey, we meet again. Oh, hello. I'm sorry, I thought for sure that a thief had broke in. I assume there's a reason for all this? Clem was being bad again. You friggin' brat. Child abuser. When are you gonna grow up, Clem? <laughs> this has gotten out of hand. I suppose it has. Scree! Matron Theresa. I don't know the full story, but it sounds like Clem's been up to no good. Hey, no fair. I didn't do anything. The pervert lady just says I did. Who are you calling a pervert? Clem, did you really not do anything? Of course not. Do you swear to Idios? I, I swear. I see. It's just that you dropped some kind of badge in the nursery earlier. That wasn't yours, was it? But it was in my pants pocket. Uh, I told you. Oh my. Nicely done. Clem, no more excuses. Give her back what you stole. All right, all right, I'll give it back. So just drop it. Whoa. I'm out of here. He really isn't a mean-spirited child, but he can be quite the little trickster. As his guardian, I must apologize. It's okay, I got my emblem back. Plus, I got some tasty herbal tea and apple pie. The tea was really the best part, though. It's just like the kind they brew in the tavern. Is it grown locally? Yes, gardening is one of my hobbies, actually. I gave some to the barkeep at the tavern whenever I have extra. Neat. I'm gonna have to give my vote to the apple pie, though. It's just plain amazing. Well, I can't take credit for that. She made it. You mean Chloe? This is still so embarrassing. I was really rude earlier to think I could be so mistaken. Oh, don't worry about it. Apple pie heals all wounds, or something like that. Besides, I wasn't acting like any kind of saint myself. That white hawk sure surprised the hell out of me, though. Oh, that was C. He's a gear falcon. That's Liberal's natural bird, isn't it? You seemed really comfortable with him. Is he your pet? No, I don't keep him. He's a close friend, though. Wow, as friends go, he's pretty awesome. That reminds me, aren't you a student at the Royal Academy? But you live here. No, I stay in the girls' dorm on campus. It's not that far away, so I like to come and visit when I can. I sometimes worry I might be kind of a bother, though. Oh, dear. Please don't think that. You're always so helpful when you come by, and the children are always happy. I personally worry that you might be neglecting your duties at school in favor of us. I know that's a silly concern to have about you. I won't let you down. You live on campus, huh? I've always kind of wanted to know what it was like. I imagine that we got a weekly taste of it at the church lessons. But isn't the entrance exam for the academy pretty hard? I think my head would explode if I had to take an exam like that. 
It's not so hard. I think it must be far more difficult to become a bracer. You know, I've always kind of wanted to be one, ever since I was a little girl. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. You call me a bracer, but I'm still just an apprentice. We have to travel all over the kingdom before we can advance. I think we'll be in Ruan for a little while, though. In that case, perhaps I'll have a chance to repay you. Plus, the children would love for you to come back and play again. I'll prepare a whole mountain of tea and make goods. Oh, Sieg, were you waiting for me? Scree! That's right, they're not here to hurt anyone. This is Estelle, and that's Joshua. You remember them, right? Scree! Good boy. Wow, you can actually talk to him? Well, he didn't actually talk per se, but I can understand what he's trying to say. We've always been able to tell what the other's feeling. Whoa, bird telepathy is so cool. Sounds like mutual love to me. It is. Hello, Seek. I'm Estelle. It's nice to meet you. Now, read my mind. Scree? Scree! Oh. <laughs> are, are my thoughts too complex to read? If you were thinking of what I think you were thinking of, then no. <laughs> oh, by the way, aren't you two headed for Ruan? Yeah, if we can't do that, we can't work. Well, if you're going to the Ruanian Guild, I have a few things to do over there myself. Maybe I can show you around. Really? That'd be great. But don't you have to go back to school soon? No, it's all right. I got special permission to be out today. I don't have to return until after nightfall. Sounds like a plan then. Let's go to Ruan. So I don't really know what to think about what's gonna happen yet. Perhaps the boy is gonna get into some trouble and we'll have to come rescue him after we get registered at Ruan or maybe it'll happen beforehand. I do not know. But we're going to wrap it up here. Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. So until then, stay tuned.